Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain, and on this hot, sweaty afternoon in Brisbane, I am going to make some leather dog tags. Now, these aren't the dog tags that you actually attach to the collar of the dog, more so they attach to the leash of the dog, and with the carabiner they attach to, you can also hang your doggy bags or other things on them. Now, with these ones today, I'm using some new stamps that I got from my aunt. May she rest in peace. And they're a little bit fancier and also a tad larger than the existing stamps that I had. You can see the difference in size. So here goes. The only problem I can see with this is that I've got a bang on the table so I'm gonna have to move my camera and see if I can get the action. What I'm using to make the dog tags out of is some bovine leather that's about four mil thick. I don't know how many ounces that corresponds to. I've already dampened it, or cased it as they call it. So my plan is to stamp the letters of the names of the dogs into this, and then I'll make a template of a bone shape that I'll overlay and cut it out as the shape of the bone. But first, I'm going to do the letters and then I can center the bone on them. So let us begin. Let's come in a bit closer than that, shall we? Okay, maybe a bit too close, maybe not. So my aunt only ever used these for clay work. So we'll see what sort of residue they might leave on the leather. And yes, I know I should be using a um, rawhide mallet. So as you can see, it's come up okay. I'm a little crooked though. So I'm going to punch those again. So much better. Still not quite at the sell it stage, but you know, lots of practice. So now I'm going to design up a bone template and show you how that looks. So I got a piece of paper and folded it in half and then folded it in half the other way and made this design which when you open it up becomes a cartoonish type of bone. Now you might hear some kids in the background because school's just come out but ignore them there are no kids in the video. Okay. So, I've cut the leather into the shape. You may or may not be able to see the letters in this lighting. And then I've put a hole in the end. So the idea is it'll hang this way on the leash handle and not get in the way too much, I hope. Now, as this leather is almost dry, I'm now going to paint the letters into it with some gold leather paint, which is left over from a um, Charlie project. Hey Charlie, if you ever come back from Melbourne, I've still got paint and stuff of yours here. <sighs> I have discovered though I don't have a burnishing tool that I can find, so these edges are still going to be a little bit rougher than I'd like. But depending on time, I might find something that I can smooth them down with. But first, time to paint the letters in with a nice fine paintbrush. Well, I can tell you, friends, that the next tool that I buy for the leather work will definitely be a burnishing stick. It's very hard to get a nice effect without it. I mean, I've done my best with what I've had here, which was a round dowel and some beeswax, but it hasn't given it quite the effect I'd like. But, you know, for a prototype to see if it'll work or not, I think it's come up okay. And I've put some split rings on them to hang them from the leash and I've got all these kids in the background at the school having fun because they're out of school. 
So, I've done up two. One for a friend of mine and one for my dog. And I'll go down to the park and give it to her in a little while. And yeah, I think if I took orders for these, I could probably make enough to live on at $15 each. That's doing three an hour, covering all the materials and labor. So anyway, just a very simple leatherwork project for the afternoon. And this is Wolf from Armory Train saying, stay in or if you're allowed to, go out and make something. <laughs>